In this video, you're going to learn how to solve radical equations involving two radicals, and we're going to go through it step by step. So the first thing you want to do when you have these two radicals like this is you want to isolate one of the radicals on one side of the equal sign, everything else on the other side. So let's do that first. I'm going to add this square root of 5 minus x to the other side of the equation. Okay, And so what's going to happen here, these are going to cancel. We're left with square root of 2x plus 1 is equal to uh, 2 plus the square root of 5 minus x. Okay, now that we've isolated the square root here on the left, what we're going to do is we're going to square both sides of the equation to keep it balanced, right? So we know that the square and the square root, those are inverses of one another. They cancel each other out, leaving you with 2x plus 1. Now on the right side, we have a binomial. So when you have a binomial, two terms, separated by plus or minus, what you want to do is you want to think of this as this quantity times itself, see, twice. Now what some students mistakenly do, and you don't want to make this mistake, is students will just square the two and then they'll square the square root. But you're going to be missing one of the terms if you do that. So what we're going to do is distribute 2 times 2, which is 4, 2 times square root of 5 minus x, and over here we have 2 times square root of 5 minus x, which is 4 times square root of 5 minus x, plus a square root times itself just gives you the quantity underneath the square root, because square root of 5 minus x times square root of 5 minus x is like square root of 5 minus x squared, because you have two of them, and the square and the square root cancel. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to isolate this square root by itself on one side of the equal sign and square both sides a second time. So that's the key. So here, let's go ahead and subtract 4 and subtract 5 and add x. Okay, so if we do that, this is like subtracting 9. And we're going to add x to this side. So if we do that, let's see what we get. We get 3x minus 8 is equal to 4 times the square root of 5 minus x. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to divide both sides by 4 to get this square root by itself. And I'll just divide this whole quantity by 4 like that. And now what we're going to do, since we have this square root by itself, we're going to do the inverse or the opposite. We're going to square both sides. Whatever you do to the right, you want to do to the left. And remember, the square and the square root, those undo one another. So that's going to leave us with uh, 5 minus x. Now on this side, again, we don't want to make the mistake uh, like sometimes students do when you're squaring a binomial. You want to think of this as 3x minus 8 times another 3x minus 8. So it's this whole quantity twice. So let's go ahead and write it up over here, give ourselves a little bit more space. So 3x minus 8 over 4 squared means we have two of them. And that's equal to 5 minus x. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the denominators. That's just going to give us 16. And then in the numerator, we're going to foil. So 3x times 3x is 9x squared. This gives us negative 24x. This gives us negative 24x, that's negative 48x. And then negative 8 times negative 8 is positive 64. And that's equal to 5 minus x. Okay, let's get rid of this fraction here. Let's multiply both sides by 16. If we do that, you can see the numerator and denominator are canceling. And over here, we're getting 80 minus 16x. And let's see, so now we have 9x squared minus 48x plus 64. You can see we've got some large numbers in this problem. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get everything on one side and set it equal to 0. So I'm going to subtract 80 and add 16x. So add 16x and subtract 80. That's going to set this equal to 0. And so now we have 9x squared minus, let's see, what does that come out to? 32x uh, minus 16 is equal to 0. So now what we can do is we can factor this and set the factors equal to 0, or we can do the quadratic formula. Now, when these numbers are large like this, you might want to just do the quadratic formula. So remember the quadratic formula, x equals the opposite of b, which is positive 32, plus or minus the square root of b squared, minus 4, times a, which is 9, times c, which is negative 16, all divided by 2 times a, so 2 times 9 is 18. So let's go to the calculator. I'm going to do this here. We're running out of uh, whiteboard here, but let's see what we've got. We've got the 32 squared minus 4 times 9 times negative 16 is 1,600. Square root of 1,600 is 40. So this whole quantity here is 40. 
So we have 32 plus or minus 40 divided by 18. 32 plus 40 is 72 divided by 18 is equal to 4. And 32 minus 14, uh, 40 is negative 8 divided by 18 is negative 4 ninths. Okay, now the one thing you want to be careful of with these radical equations is that sometimes you get a false answer, like an extraneous solution. So you want to take these numbers, put them back into the original equation before we did anything, and see if it makes it true. So let's take 4. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9, square root of 9 is 3. And over here, 5 minus 4 is 1, square root of 1 is 1, 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. So it looks like 4 is a good answer. Negative 4 ninths, uh, 2 times negative 4 ninths is negative 8 ninths, plus 1 is 1 ninth, square root of 1 ninth is 1 third. And over here we have 5 minus negative 4 ninths is like 5 plus 4 ninths, which is like 49 ninths, which is 7 thirds. So we have 1 third minus 7 thirds, which is negative 6 thirds, which is negative 2, not positive 2 which tells us that this is an extraneous solution. So you can see you can make a simple mistake by thinking you're done here and not checking back in the original uh, problem. So great job if you were able to follow this lesson. If you want more practice, I'll put another video I did talking about solving radical equations right over there. Follow me over to that other video for more practice, and I'll see you over there.